The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Uh, welcome to the show today from the beautiful, uh, I guess it would be the Bank of the Ruther Thumbs. I'm looking at it across the uh, street here, uh, in front of the house, and it's uh, very nice. They have these beautiful boats that go up and down. They start here in the spring and continue on to the winter time. It goes almost, well, it does go the whole length of the country, so it's a pretty neat place. And, of course, it goes up to uh, Windsor Castle. And up there in the mountains, near, well, they're not mountains, but there are big hills up near Stonehenge. I posted a chart here of the natural gas, folks. You'll see we had a double ABCD pattern here. Uh, this is one of the trades that we were looking at, you know, for the folks that were trading in the uh, live trading on Friday. And, of course, I posted, I said, it should go to 89. I said, but if it goes to uh, above 92, 93, it's almost uh, wrong. And so today, this thing just absolutely exploded to the upside. We went so much higher that when I uh, uh, looked at it, I actually I couldn't believe it because we went way above the 1.27 itself which uh, that, in, that is really something. And these, they, the, the question, we didn't know at the time this was going to happen, of course, but we don't know when these are going to do this. I mean, when you get a move that, you know, blasts through like this, I mean, your last target is right here, and that's where you wanted to be selling it at uh, 589 and use a three, $3 stop is what I expected. The stop would have been around 92, 93, and you can see we went all the way up to 612, I mean, the difference between 93 and 612 is $1,000, folks. That's The risk is just too great when it does that. Now, uh, one of the questions that was asked me during that time, what will I do if it goes above that? I said, really nothing. I said, I have to wait till I see another pattern because this has gone beyond the 1.27 even. The only thing I would be looking at would be way up here. At the 1.618, I don't want to have anything to do with that, folks. Remember, when we're dealing with these things that are Fibonacci spirals, I'm trying to draw one here. You'll see here that all of these things are Fibonacci spirals leading to higher prices. But once we go below, beyond that 1.27 level, it says, my gosh, we're heading towards 1.618. And beyond that, boy, we don't have anything to do with it, folks. 1.618 is the line in the sand for us. Uh, and that's what we're willing to accept as a risk, and that's what we're watching. So that one would have been our first failure of the group. However, uh, we did have one that was uh, also quite interesting, and there were two of them, actually. I'll bring this next one up and uh, leaves our old friend, uh, Mr. 382. Hold on. We'll get it up here. and We'll be able to see it. Um, there's the 382 uh, in the... Uh, uh, crude oil, as you can see here, we made a lower low here, so the 382 had to be changed, and that took it in right at the high of the day. And not only that, but this is a very long-term chart. It's a four-hour chart, so it stayed there, folks, for almost a whole day. So that was telling you there was a lot of resistance. In course, now it's broken down a couple of bucks uh, from that level. But this one was actually working pretty good. They don't all work, as I mentioned before, but some of them do and some of them don't. So let's move on to take a look at a few of these other charts that we're looking at. No guests today, boys and girls. It's just me here in the old uh, little town of Kingston on Thames, and I will be with you here on Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I will not be with you, but I'll be back Monday, and I believe we have a full full schedule next week. We've got Mr. Joey D. De Napoli is going to be on for a full hour next week on Wednesday. So mark your uh, calendar there. He's got a lot of stuff to talk about. And we're going to give him the whole amount of time because we don't get to chat with him very often. And he's always got some nice things. Now we're going to take a look here since we're here in the UK. We want to take a look here at the uh, German DAX. I'll get this up here. Now this is an hourly chart. 
Again, we go back to our old favorite, AB equals CD. And we're going to bring it up here so you can take a look at it. And as you can see, we have an ABCD. We went slightly above it. Uh, we're trading slightly above it now, but not enough to uh, damage the ABCD pattern. It's got to go, uh, well, no, not very much at all, because from 43, that's only a 17-point move in the difference. So you'd have to be able to give it a little bit more time uh, and price to give it above there. But if it gets above that uh, uh, 7650 level, then you would have to say that, yes, you know, that one is not working and you want to move on uh, to something else. Okay, the next chart we're going to look at is a whole lot easier. This is the German, this is what everybody trades here. Nobody actually really trades the FTSE folks. It's all related to the old German DAX. Specken Sie Deutsch, as they say, means do you speak German? Okay. Uh, you can just see here we had another A, B, C, D pattern. In fact, there's two of them. There's A, B, C, D, and then we have another one that extends up into, that's not an A, B, C, D. That is a, someone called that a, uh, shucks, it's, well, it's a three drive pattern, but I don't they have some other. But also, that's a one, three, five, two. You have a one, three, and five. The symmetry is relatively good. The ratios are okay, but we can't get above that level. If we get above that level, that's telling you that uh, it's breaking out to the upside and you don't want to have anything to do with it. So that's neither uh, that's neither here nor there. Hold on here. We'll get back to some of these things. Uh, another one that uh, we've looked at that has been pretty good to us. Hold on. I've got two others to show you that I think are important. And we've got one that, uh, that we want to uh, be able to... Uh, Explain because it's had a heck of a move, and that's the Australian dollar. Let's get this up here in the screen here. You'll see change windows. And uh oh, I've got to go here and then to go live. Uh, make sure we can see the gold. Uh, hold on one second, boys and girls. I need to get a little bit of water. I'm a tiny bit dehydrated. And by the way, if you don't know this, Jet lag is caused by dehydration. If you drink enough water, you're probably not going to get um, jet lag. But there's no <laughs> jet lag is a, a mystery, so I don't really know that it's going. We got a caller coming in, Mr. Z from Philly. John, are you there? Bless you, Larry, for calling in, or excuse me, doing the show from London. This technology deal is just fabulous. You know, John, I figured it out today for the first time. These computers are here to stay. I said, by golly, I'm going <laughs> yes, to have to learn. Yeah. Yeah, say hallelujah, to learn to that's all I can say, sir. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What can I help you with? I need your help, please, if we could, if you could pull up the new crop Kansas City wheat daily few, uh, uh, futures uh, daily charts. The ticker on, symbol uh, on that, I believe, for most people is KEN2. Larry, um, I wanted to uh, have you uh, look at that chart, your Pesavento patterns uh, assessment, and your projection tools, and um, share with us in picture form, if you can, if in fact this low just uh, just above ten dollars that occurred last week yeah. in those July Kansas City futures holds, if yeah. we can project up to twelve fifty, and if so, how much higher? John, stay with us, please. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mr. Z from Philly, and he's asking a question about Kansas City wheat. Uh, John, are you still there? I am, Larry. John, are you familiar with Confucius? <laughs> yes. That's my okay, middle name, now, sir. You know, he was, a, he was a very famous seer that lived in the same time as um, Mr. Pythagoras in 653 uh, B.C., and right behind him was another man that I know you've heard of, and that's Sun Tzu, who wrote a famous book of the art of war. Okay, now there was one other seer in China at that time who was a rice trader. He traded rice. Now, I'm not making this up. This is really true. And his name was... No can do, because I can tell you that I cannot do that chart on Kansas City wheat because I don't look at Kansas City wheat, so I no can do. So I can't put up the chart. I can, you can see what Jack jet lag is really like now, John. Larry, that is just terrific. I, uh, I made that up myself right off the spur of the uh, – and I'm getting, I'm getting a very stern stare here from the, uh, the missus here. But anyway – I, I will tell you, Larry, I, uh, uh, of course, over the years, and of course, I uh, first met you via Tom O'Brien and the TFNN I remember crew. 20 years back, ago. Uh, 18 years ago, you bet. Uh, 2005. Anyway, so I have uh, listened with great interest as you've effectively told your entire uh, work life uh, history, you know, in various little uh, tidbits. And mm -hmm. I, uh, I do wonder, back in that period of time, 76 to 82, when you were a, uh, a broker at Drexel out there in Los Angeles, I, I do wonder how many times you told this story to prospects or clients and what their reaction was at that time. John, I don't know the number, but I'll tell you what, I'm still in contact with some of those people, so they did remember it, and fortunately, we were long, old, and silver during those wonder years, and of course, the prices never went below that time, so some of those people still have cougarans and maple leaves uh, in their safety deposit box after all those years, and that makes me uh, feel pretty good. But, you know, basically, the thing that I learned the most at Drexel, and that is people are accustomed to losing money. 
they're accustomed to making money. The one thing they're not accustomed to is losing all their money. And they said to me, if you lose 25% of the money, then you'll be looking for a new job. And I said, thank you very much. I won't lose 25%. And uh, that's kept me around for a bit. So that's pretty much it. But getting back to this wheat, John, it's pretty difficult. This is one that's been quite oversold. But these grain markets look extremely bullish, John. And they are coming into a growing season. And I can say this from the bottom of my heart. This is the most important growing season in my uh, trading history, that goes back seven decades, because if we have any type of uh, crop problems, if you think $130 oil is expensive, uh, get ready for $20 wheat, $20 beans, and $15 corn, because there's just not going to be enough to feed the world. And uh, we have to have bumper crops from both uh, South America and from the U.S. just to keep up. Uh, with the demand that's out there. So, you know, I if I do any short selling, in the, and I did the last few days uh, in the uh, soybeans, but, you know, that's based on a shorter-term chart. But longer term, you know, my goodness, this thing does not look very bearish. In fact, it looks bullish. And, boy, we have to have good crops. That's the bottom line. Uh, yes. Uh, much of what you uh, just said, Larry, are thoughts that I harbor as well. Um as as you and I have talked over the years, uh, you and I are distinctly different types of traders, at least on the intermediate term. And, and there's, of course, there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. But um, uh, just to share with you and your uh, audience, as far as trading wheat is concerned, of course, we know this in the United States, there are three different classes of wheat that have futures contracts traded against it. Uh, uh, by, uh, by volume size, it's the Chicago wheat, that's the largest contract volume, followed by the Kansas City uh, contract, and bringing up the rear is the Minneapolis wheat uh, contract. But in terms of actual production of the, the commodity here in the U.S., the Kansas City futures represents by far the largest crop. The Minneapolis contract represents the second largest, and that Chicago contract represents the smallest of the three. And uh, as I say, you know me, I'm always looking to, to assess the intermediate term uh, trend and scenarios, and uh, I try to limit my trading to the direction of the scenario that I speculate upon that will unfold and uh, that hence that leads me at least in the past several months to be trading exclusively the Kansas City contract and I appreciate you uh, you look at the Chicago and not the Kansas City so we won't deal with any specific questions here but what I will tell you, uh, I will just confirm the comment you made about the need for large crops, lest food shortages uh, will occur. In regard to this Kansas City contract, it's just the USDA, now that we're in April, now is the time that the USDA has begun publishing every Monday at 3 o'clock New York time crop progress and crop condition reports and you can see the kansas city crop uh, futures excuse me is up 30 or 40 cents intraday today mm -hmm. and that is on account of the uh crop report that came out at three yesterday which showed that crop down in texas oklahoma kansas eastern colorado is just really hurting on account of lack of rainfall frankly, since last October. So uh, adverse weather is already here, and I'm personally crossing my fingers that Mother Nature brings some timely rains down there. If it does not, we've got a real uh, shortage problem. And then the question is, uh, if that scenario unfolds, uh, how high does price go? When yeah. does demand rationing kick in and cap price so i'm dealing with all those questions right now so i am sue my friend i am too i just hope that it uh works out that we get enough food because 
uh, boy, this is one thing that my, my when I first started trading gold, uh, the one person said the reason why gold was uh, was so important was because uh, oil was indigestible. Well, if you think people get excited about $300 uh, oil and uh, $4,000 gold and they can't eat, there is no price uh, because the, the demand is inelastic. They have to have it. So we really need this bumper cop. If we don't, we're in big trouble. Uh, indeed. So uh, I'm going to be trading alongside of this Kansas City July contract, um, and we'll see how this unfolds. So, uh, Larry, okay. always great to hear you, especially coming in from London. Yeah, you bet, John. Call in next week if you get a chance. I'll give you a flavor of cowboy country. Excellent. Bye now. All right. We'll be right back, folks. Mr. Z from Philly. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, boy, boys and girls, getting back to accentuating the positive and desensitizing the negative. We're going to take a look at a trade that worked out pretty nicely. This is the gold market over the past several days. You can see the beautiful ABCD pattern up there at the top at the 786. 1955 goes about 90 cents above that and then drops uh, uh, almost 20 some dollars to complete your first prospect objective. You'll see on the downside had a beautiful Gartley down there 
at the 1929 uh, level, and then we rallied 30 bucks, uh, one half the harmonic up there, just absolutely setting up nicely. Like I said, you know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But we've had a question about the Australian dollar because we happen to be in that trade uh, for quite some time. If you'll give me a second here, I'll bring it up here so that we can see it without too much trouble and I'm going to have to make a slight adjustment here to get it back up and now we can go and bring this up this is important to really go over your losing trades folks to see why they lost and how you handled it this is the uh, daily chart of the uh, the, the yen <laughs> the, 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 let's try it again cowboy the Australian dollar versus the uh, US dollars you can see at this point right here we have a beautiful ABCD pattern It's just as beautiful as you can possibly get uh, the market comes down and goes up and makes the final D leg right here at the 1.618 expansion and then it just stops flat and it tracks for one two three four five six days in a row without disturbing that 1.618 we were short that and we shorted it at 40 75 75 17 we had a buy stop at 75 47 for a 300 dollar loss uh, it was looking pretty good well it wasn't looking pretty good it didn't have a loss but we were breaking even in it during that time but boy last night uh last night it came alive folks let me uh give you an idea of what coming alive looks like in the foreign exchange markets. I'll put this up here and it really had, I mean, it was making my limit minder go crazy and get this up here. You'll, oh, okay, just one second here. There we go. Now you can see it. Uh, there's where we were. You see, we went above, we were stopped out right there on this move right here. That was our uh, original sale was right here. Had a small profit at one time, $200, nothing. And then our stop was right above that level right here. We break above it and then we go south for uh, about four hours, okay? We stop exactly at a 382 from this low right here, okay? This low right here was a 382 off of this low right here. And then bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, the news came out. What it was, I don't know. But as you can see, we exploded all the way up here. This big move that you're seeing here, folks, uh, you're not going to get a good feel on that run because there's people that are not going to stand in front of that. When it gets up here, you're going to be able to get some action going on. But during this time, people are flat covering positions and new buyings coming in most probably. And then you have that big move. Now, the first thing I do when I see a move like that, I want to see, okay, what caused this and what did I miss? And so the first thing I would do would be to go to a longer term chart to see if there was anything there that said, well, you know, maybe you should have taken a look at this or maybe you shouldn't. So if we take a look at it, which we're going to right here, get this up, you're going to see the uh, long term. Uh, this is the weekly chart. And we went up and made that weekly level at 7650. That's 150 pips higher from where we were looking to sell it, folks. Something's different in the Australian dollar. Maybe a rush is coming back and buying commodities from those folks, but hold on one second. That's not the point. The point is you can't stand in front of it. You can, you can buy it if you have a good place to buy it, which I'd certainly be looking to do that. But once it gets above those numbers, above that D point, my personal opinion is, you know, and I don't really care why I lose on some of these things. All I know is that it failed. And I know that the probability of winning on that pattern is more than it is losing. And that's all I need to know. It's it's really not much less than that. I mean, you got to be able to do that uh, to figure out how it's going to work, because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. I know the reason behind it, but I don't know how it works. Let me show you the reason. I talked about this before. I'm going to give it to you again just since we're good friends here and you'll always learn something at least we hope you do this is how uh, the cycles work this is basically the fractals how they work you see there's a there's a larger ABCDs this is the red um, structure inside the smaller ABCDs those are the blue structures and what you're trying to do is to line those up so that when the prices come together and also coming together in time you know that at that point at the D point 
is where you want to be an dancing with the devil at that time. The devil could be the market or it could be an angel. You never know. But you want to be looking at that point right here. And once that happens, you got to say, this is where I play because I don't know what goes on beside inside these markets. But all I do know is when they fail, I can't stand in front of it. And that's a key a key thing to really uh, remember, folks. It, it, it really is uh, very important. We've got uh, one other market here that is, uh, let me just get it up here for one second here, that is really important. Well, they're all important. What am I talking about? But the ones you're not in are important because you're waiting to get in. Here's one that has been in the news every day, and it will continue to be for a very, very long time. And we'll get it up and running now. It is the opposite of the gold. It is, of course, black gold. Crude oil. Hold on one second here. You can see here we had a 61% retracement here about uh, eight or nine days ago up there at that uh, uh, 116, 117 level. We came all the way down. You'll notice we made lower lows uh, yesterday uh, right at the 78% uh, level down there at 98 and change. We rallied up today to the 382 retracement up there at 105. And now we've broken $3 a barrel very, very quickly here, again, showing the importance of the 3, um, the 382 picture. Here is the 382 picture before. Remember, we broke down sharply from this high, rallied right up to the 382, and then continued down, you know, making a A, B, C, D down at this level right here. So what we're doing now, we get above this level, we get above 405, 105. We've got a chance for a larger ABCD up here at the 78% level, up here at 121. Now, people have asked me the question, is $130 a barrel going to be enough to stop this? Nobody knows, including me. All I'm doing is looking at the charts. I'm trying to find a pattern that I can find with some success to pay me money and I don't care about the fundamentals I care about the people that have to use oil and all that stuff but there's nothing I can do about it other than care so I'm looking at patterns that I can make a buck on and I don't need to listen to the news I have to watch how the market responds to the news that is a secret to trading and believe me it's not a simple task you've got to practice yourself you know, to be able to do this. Okay, now I wanted to talk about uh, one other market. I've got a break coming up, and I've got a very important uh, subject when we get back from the break. Hold on one second. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday 
with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the Dece uh, excuse me, the September Treasury bonds. Let's try that again, cowboy. It's the June Treasury bond, the M contract. And as you can see here, we were looking for the 382 pattern to come in around the 151.20 uh, level. We got to 150.20, and it looked 150.02 uh, just a few days ago, and it looked like it had a really good chance to get there. And, of course, uh, after that six-day rally, it just failed, and it just started going lower, much like the T-notes. Folks, we have inter higher interest rates are coming our way. There's no question about it. And I wanted to bring a story to you uh, that happened to me today. I was fortunate enough to s uh, spend some time with one of the really uh, great traders of Europe. And uh, we were able to chat and trade uh, at, for several hours this morning. And, of course, the report came out. Uh, this morning and in his office he has two screens uh, medium size you know little uh, they're they're desktop they're not laptops probably I'd say 24 inch screens he has two of those and he has absolutely no news at all I mean none at all and uh, I had the f good fortune of training him oh 20 years ago and he has done a great job but boy he has learned how to not listen to the news at all and uh, we saw the action of the news. The market was very, very choppy, ran way up, and then boom, down it went. And I said, "How did you ever, you know, train yourself, you know, to not look at the uh, to not look at the news and stuff?" He says, "Well, he said I had someone from Arizona uh, teach me that, and then he reminded me that when he came over to visit me for a week." that uh, I also don't have anything about the news on there. And he said, it's not an easy task. He said, when I got back, he said, the only way I could stop looking at the screen was to do it in baby steps. In other words, I was watching it every minute, then I would only watch it for every five minutes, then every 10 minutes, and now he said, I can train myself every 15 minutes if I want to come back and look at it. And if I get stopped out, my limit minders will tell me and the beepers will go off if something important happens. He said, but that's really as simple as it is. You've just got to train yourself to not look at it. But the main thing that you got to remember is when you're doing these trades, folks, the people that are larger than you on the other side of it, they don't care who you are or where you are or why you're doing this. They really don't care about it. So you're thinking that they do and they don't. But there's no extra information on that screen other than that chart, and that'll tell you where prices are going, either up or down. And uh, so I thought I'd share that uh, with you because uh, it is very important that you don't have to watch the screens to see if these things work. Your breast trades are the ones that you're not watching, and away they go. I remember very vividly in 1973, the first time I met 
uh, I was 72 that I first met Amos Hostetter. He had a wicker basket, much like I did at home, one for the Board of Trade, one for the Merck. And his girl, he had a secretary that, you know, posted the uh, highs and lows during that time so he could see the price action. And uh, he had a whole bunch of positions on. And one of them uh, was some uh, New York market, I forget, was orange, orange juice or cocoa sugar, something like that. And it was, it was really hurting him. But he hadn't been stopped out or anything like that and Jay asked him he said Amos he says why do you do this and he said well he said if I trade pork bellies he said it keeps my mind off the other positions and so this is how I keep my mind off of the positions and then when I need to look at it he said I'll go to the uh, to the Reuter machine and see where the prices are and that's really all I need to know this was before we had you know prices like we have now folks we didn't have this stuff we had a you know bunker rainbow boards and stuff if you were big enough to have that but other than that you had to use the old uh, ticker tape and a lot difference now but look at this bond chart folks we're trading at uh, 146.14 that shatters the low of eight days ago that everybody thought was going to hold including me i really assumed that we were going to get up to that 382 at 151 uh, uh, 18 and we didn't even come close to it so that tells you how weak that market is maybe it'll turn right now here on a dime but I wouldn't bet any dineros on it or uh, ducats or anything because it looks like it wants to go lower interest rates are going higher and the question is why don't stocks react well maybe the stocks will react later maybe it doesn't make any difference because we've seen bonds and stocks going up a direction before so if you're trading stocks Trade the stocks. If you're trading the bonds, trade the bonds. Don't start thinking about interactive markets. It's going to drive you nuts. And, you know, driving nuts is not very fun a lot of times because you can't afford the gas. So just remember that. It's, uh, just trade what you see and not anything else. I ought to use that as a motto. What the heck? I like Tom, I like Tom Hugard's model. It's not what you think. It's how you think, and uh, that's how it, it's important to remember that uh, it's how the markets react to the news, and when you see that, that gives you an idea of where you really are, and that's what's really important, at least from the trading purposes. I, I can't be more emphatic than that uh, as we look at some of these things. I want to watch, uh, show you uh, one other market that uh, we uh, should be watching here. Let's get it up here. Uh, to look at it because it's it's a coffee market. I wanted to give you just a little heads up on this because this was one of the trades that we were recommending here on uh, Sunday uh, on the uh, on the coffee. I remember remember I haven't traded coffee in well over whew, it's been 50 years easy coffee. I traded cocoa once since then, but you notice we had this uh, really nice 382 pattern here. That completed on Friday, folks, uh, while we were there, and that completed at the uh, 130, excuse me, 230 level, and the market closed a little bit below that. And then on Sunday night, uh, the market actually backed off about two and a half cents, so we were up, up about $300 on this. And then, of course, later in the day when all the markets were exploding to the upside, this market went a little bit higher. But uh, our original risk on that was only two cents. And when you make three, the worst thing that should happen to you on that would be in a break-even trade. So you count that as a break-even trade. Market's trading just a tiny bit higher than where we are on this chart right here. But that would be uh, out with a break-even trade. Stop and think, folks. If you're risking $250, the market gives you $750. You don't want to give it all back because now you've had a $1,000 move. That $750 was actually in your account by looking at those little numbers that flash up on your laptop or your desktop. But when that goes away, it's your own money, and that means you'd have gone from a $750 profit to a $1,000 loss. That's not good money management, folks. The worst that can happen, and that was the best thing in this case, is to be out at break even. That's it. If the market doesn't give you any chance to get out break even, you're going to get stopped out anymore. You know, you can see what's happened to the – just look at – I just checked the, the, the price of uh, natural gas during the break. It hit 620, folks. And we were out of that at 593. That's $1,700. Oh, let's try that again. That's $2,300 that if you were following it or weren't paying attention, that would have increased your loss by $2,300. Now, how does that make you feel? 
Not very good, buckaroos, not very good. So remind ourselves that we have to be uh, be very, very careful and always be alert. And the old adage of the old commodity trader, Seymour Lefkowitz, and that is, always be ready. We'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I wanted to post this chart. It goes all the way back to uh, 2009. Very important to me historically. It's a 30 minute chart of the euro, and this is when Sarah was practicing her patterns and ratios, doing everything by hand. As you can see, she would print these charts out, draw in the lines, and do the actual calculations on each of the ratios to see how close they were to 618, 1.27 and stuff like that. The reason why this is important, this pattern right here, as you can see, those of you that follow uh, what we do at 20, uh, Fibonacci 24-7, that is a perfect uh, three drive to a top pattern with double ABCDs in it. And when I first met Sarah back in, 19, in 2006, it was October and we were flying from Narita, Japan, uh, from Narita, Japan, from Hong Kong, and she was sitting right in front of me uh, on the plane and I kept walking up and down the aisle trying to get her attention, but she was asleep. And so anyway, what happened was uh, we went into the lounge and I 
told her about a stock that she was in, and it turned out to be uh, it worked. And from then on, you know, we got, we talked a little bit about it and uh, went on from there. So anyway, that's what we're looking at here. So we'll pay attention to some of these other things. Uh, looking around, as long as we don't get above the um, fib point that we just made here in the S and P up there at 45.82, I think we're going to be heading lower. And uh, but how much lower we're going to get, I'm not sure. But we could exceed that easily at any time, and then we'll be able to, uh, you know, move on to the next one. The gold uh, should have some very strong resistance. What we've made up here at the 1955 level, and that should hold. Uh, for quite some time anyway. So those are the ones that we're watching today. Uh, next week, I'll be, I'll be on the show uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, I won't. Uh, we'll be heading back. Uh, we're taking the train back to the United States from London, and uh, that'll be fun because it hasn't been built yet, but we will have some fun. Still a little bit of jet lag, folks, but I'm on the mend, and I will be okay. Uh, always remembering to keep your stops working, and it's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. God bless.